this series is unbelievable. Do you also think that the sum of the series that you are seeing here is wrong? After all, how the sum of an infinite series having all the natural numbers which are all positive can be a negative number. At first, it looks impossible, but this is actually correct. The sum of this series was found by a genius mathematician named Ramanujan. So this is also called as the Ramanujan paradox. Let me tell you that this is not just in theory, it actually happens and its proof finds application in many physics problems like Casimir effect. It is also famous for its use in bosonic string theory where it is used to calculate the dimensionality of the universe. So here I am going to prove how the sum of this infinite series is equal to minus 1 by 12. After the proof, I will tell you some unbelievable facts related to the Ramanujan, the man who knew infinity. So don't miss the last part of the video. So first of all, let's take series S1 having plus 1 and minus 1 alternately up to infinite number of terms. As we do not know whether the infinity has even number of terms or odd number of terms, so I have taken series S1 for both of the cases for even number of terms and also for odd number of terms. You see, these both series are same. Here for example, I have taken uh, 6 number of terms and here 7 number of terms, odd number of terms. So what will be the summation of this series? As uh, plus 1 and minus 1 are paired, we know in every even number we can make pairs. So plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out. So its uh, summation will be 0. I have called this as equation number 1, while in this case, if I take this out then the series will be of even numbers and as was the case of this series it will have uh, plus 1 and minus 1 in pairs and will cancel out and 1 will be remaining so summation of this series will be plus 1 I have called this the second equation now what I'm going to do is I will add equation 1 and 2 so on adding the left hand side s1 plus s1 it will be s1 plus s1 okay 2s1 and on the right hand side we have 0 and 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay. So S1 is equals to half. Call this as third equation. Now we are taking another series, S2 series. Here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are all natural numbers up to infinity but have alternate plus and minus signs. So I have called this as series A. This series is same as uh, this one but what I have done? Only I have shifted this series towards right side by one term. So this is same you can see. Now I am just adding the equation A and B. This was equation B. Okay. So S2 plus S2 left hand side I have added and on adding the right hand side you see term by term. This is the first term and here first term you can assume 0. So plus 1 plus 0 is 1. Summation of these second terms minus 2 and plus 1 will be minus 1. Summation of this term will be plus 3 and uh, minus 2 is plus 1, minus 4 and 3 is minus 1. So in this way you can see this is a series of uh, ones having alternate plus and minus signs and I have called this series as C. If you remember you see this was the series first series that I have uh, assumed and this was nothing but S1 series. S1 series was this. We have also calculated that the value of S1 was 1 by 2. We will use it. So S2 plus S2 is 2S2 and this series is actually what? This is S1 and the value of S1 was actually 1 by 2. So this 2S2 has become equal to S1. Okay, 2S2 is S1, S1 is 1 by 2. So 2S2 will be 1 by 2. So from here, S2 will be 1 by 4. Let's call this equation as equation 4. Now let's take uh, this series. S3. This is nothing but simply the summation of all natural numbers up to infinity. If you see it carefully, you will see that this is our desired series. We want to calculate its sum. And S2 we know uh, was this series. Uh, if you don't remember, let's see here. S2 series was this alternate signs of natural numbers. So this is S3 and this is S2. Now what we are going to do is S3 minus S2. We know how to subtract. So on the left hand side we can write S3 minus S2 and we will subtract each term. Okay first term from the first term and second term from the second term. We can change the signs to subtract. We know it. This will become minus. This will become plus. 
this is simply the subtraction process so 1 minus 1 will be 0 we will subtract minus 2 from plus 2 so it will be plus 2 minus of minus 2 so it will be plus 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and this is plus 3 minus 3 it will be 0 and plus 4 plus 4 it will be 8 plus 5 and minus 5 it will be 0 and uh, let's change all these numbers and uh, plus 6 plus 6 12 plus 7 minus 7 0 again and here it is again 16 so if you notice here uh, you can see that uh, one term is 0 then again 4 then next term is 0 so we are getting multiples of 4 4 8 if you see the table of 4 4 8 12 16 okay so i can write this s3 minus s2 as 4 8 12 16 20 24 okay simply multiples of 4 here up to infinity so s3 minus s2 is actually we can take out 4 we can take 4 common so it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 okay up to infinity and s3 minus s2 will be 4 times of this is what this series is 1 plus 2 this is s3 series actually so i have replaced it with s3 but according to equation number 4 s2 was 1 by 4 s2 was actually 1 by 4 so we will replace s2 by 1 by 4 so s3 minus 1 by 4 equals to 4 times of s3 see the next slide s3 minus s4 equals to 4 times of s3 okay simply and uh, you can write it as minus uh, 1 by 4 equals to 4 times of s3 minus s3 if you transfer this s3 to this side it will be of minus sign 4 s3 minus s3 is 3 s3 and here it is minus 1 by 4 so from this equation s3 will be minus 1 by 12 but we know s3 was simply what was s3 s3 was summation of all these natural numbers up to infinity we have got the summation of all the natural numbers up to infinity which is minus 1 by 12 hence we have proved it so friends this was the proof of the ramanujan's infinite series of natural numbers ramanujan was an indian mathematician who had no formal training in pure mathematics but made great contribution to mathematics. The famous mathematician G. H. Hardy came up with a scale to calculate the mathematical ability of mathematicians. The scale was from level 0 to 100. Hardy put himself at level 25. The great German mathematician Hilbert at 80 and Ramanujan at 100. Ramanujan lived for very short period of time and died at the age of just 32 years. But in his short period of life, he established more modular equations than Jacobi, Gauss, Euler and other great mathematicians combined. It took the whole life of many mathematicians just to prove Ramanujan's 1% of work that was found in his notebook. He even provided solutions to many mathematical problems which were considered unsolvable at the time. Ramanujan found out thousands of equations but most of them are still unproven. There is much to say about Ramanujan but this video was actually about proving the sum of the infinite series. If you found the video interesting and informative then please like and share it. And for more such videos don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. Thanks for watching.